Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and we're back as we continue our City Skylines challenge and reaching a population of 100,000. Previously we got our railways unlocked and put a basic railway infrastructure in. We've also done some more work on our sea harbour and some of our farming industry. Today though I plan to build up our highway and also try and reach a population of 14,000. So as you can see down here these were the very first roads we actually stuck in these dirt roads but they're getting quite busy now and we really need to improve our highway. My plan is to do a raised highway bridge curling around that corner. I also want to bring this train line around here and perhaps down towards the roundabout so we've got another way to get into the main city. But this corner here is looking a little bit like we can finish it off with some detailing today and get an in and out link on our highway. Now money wise I'm going to speed up the simulation for a bit and let some money get in. So let's do that. Okay so we've got over a quarter of a million now so we can begin thinking about how we're going to do the highway. So I'm just going to continue for here and we can switch the directions of the highway. But what I want to do is build a bridge and I'm going to use these dirt roads as markers as well because I like to keep an even gap between the two highway roads. So let's just get rid of this stuff here. I always find that doing the highways always takes me the most time. In the UK we don't have these fancy highways like you get in the bigger cities in New York if you look at New York and Dallas and places like that. They have intersections and roads going off in every direction. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to elevate this. Now that's too high because we're at full elevation so we just change this to half and I gently want to raise it up. So we're going to go to our first lane press page up again if we get a little bit close in so you can see now there's not enough room for a road to pass underneath that but if we raise it up one more at this line just here it should give us a nice gentle natural incline and I'll be able to get another road going underneath this bridge so I want to repeat this on the other side and get it curving round. Now, I don't expect to get this straight away. But this is why I've left them two roads in so I can get some markers. And I think I'm going to have to bring this highway back like four squares in order to have a nice gentle curve going round here. Otherwise it looks a little bit too sharp so I'll do that. Okay, so I've been at it for a while, just fiddling. I've got a couple of on and off ramps just here near our roundabout, and I've sorted out the bridge. So just here, I've got a little intersection. I'm going to use the highway off ramp, which is just a one way. I want to connect it up to this roundabout. So we've got, I want to put it onto that dot there. So the roundabout keeps its shape. And I just want a gentle curve, makes things easier on the traffic. So incoming traffic can come in and hit this roundabout now. I've had to pull that bridge down, we'll have to replace it coming back to our industrial estate. And we also need to put another off ramp here so they can leave we've got that facing the wrong way. We just join it up to this road here. They've got a way to get out via the industrial estate. Tiny curve in there. So they'll come out on that road to exit the city. They can come in to get into our town but we also need a way for them to get into our industrial estate which is why we've put the bridge a little bit further up. So 
So, having to shift the bridge a little bit further down, this little bridge just operates as a quick way for workers to get in and out and somewhere for the recycling vans to get across into a little suburb here. Mm, not as happy with that, but I'm going to be moving these recycling areas out of the way. So it will be okay for now. I expect this little corner to change. At the end of the highway, I've also put a little roundabout. It leads to nowhere at the moment, but when we can unlock more of the map. But so far, so good. And I've done some stuff up here. Okay. So now, I need to put a little road, hopefully, underneath this bridge here. So the traffic doesn't go all the way down the high road that needs to get into this industrial sector here. And I'm going to do some stuff. Let's just lay down a road parallel to the highway first. Okay, so if I come two squares out of our dirt road here. And if we just change it to our curving tool, let's just see if we can get a nice gentle curve coming round just to join up down here. Mm. Oh, there's something there. That would be perfect. Yeah, I like that. That comes in nicely. I'm just going to change how it comes in on this road, but that curve's pretty natural. Yeah, just change this bit here. And let's reconnect it now. There we are. Yeah, that works great. Okay. So now we just want to have a little slip road coming in. I think just before the bridge comes up, we'll have another turn in. No, just a gentle curve like that. Fantastic. There we go. Just upgrade this road. So our industrial traffic now has a way to get in. Our highway continues up to that roundabout at the bottom. I'm liking it. Okay. So I do need to get some detailing done today. I have neglected a little bit of that since we started City Skylines. But I certainly think these areas here are going to be staying as they are. There we go. So we've got our traffic just coming off down into our little town there. That bit at the top will most certainly change when I open another part of the map. And just in case the traffic's going too far down this road to turn, I'm just going to put another little bit of road off to the side here. So they can turn round if needs be, if they're making a a wrong turn. But I think that's fixed it. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Right. Well, we need to get our train line in going down the back here as well. Let's just bring this up and along here. straight track and even though it's pretty simple this is just going to bring it right up to the back of the avenue this is why I've left this gap between the highway and kept these markers here really ok 
Crossroads just up ahead. Pedestrian crossing, so I want to stick our little train station. Not the cargo, just our normal station. We will unlock different types of station later on. But right now, these are the only ones we've got, just our small ones and the cargo one. And in right opposite the crossings here. Okay. And disconnect use up like so. There we go. So this section here I think we could use one of our special buildings. This is the mall, or as we call it, a precinct, I suppose, but a shopping mall. Costs quite a bit, but it will add value. And I'm putting it just in front of our train station here. Just trying to think where it might be best to go off this avenue. I think this section warrants a, a giant building here some description. Why not make it a shopping mall? Oh yeah, fantastic. And I can put some pathways around the outside of it. Just going to pull it over towards the road a little bit. Just there. That looks better there. I've got enough room to stick a path and some trees in. Finally decorate the roundabout as well, actually make it look like a real roundabout. Surprising the difference it makes once you start putting some detail down. Okay, just want the basic path along here. And going up towards the train station as well. Just want enough room to put some plants and trees along the side of this pathway. Okay. I'm going to bring this up here. There we go. That was the wrong road. We want this one. This one has lights along it. Okay. I like it. sure this is square. So what I'm going to do now over the roundabout and just in this corner I'm going to get some trees and some bushes down start putting some detail down and this will really make our city come to life. It's these little tiny things that make the difference in the end you always find. I'm quite happy with how, where this has ended up actually. Feels right to stick it here. Let's get some bigger trees along here. This corner. Doing this can be quite time consuming. So, but we'll just go around the outside and make this look like a real roundabout. Put some trees in the middle. And the end result does change things quite a bit. what else we can find flower wise. I do like these because these little tiny bushes they are make it look more natural. Okay so it's up towards our school I've done this roundabout as well definitely need to think about that corner more but here we go we've kind of finished and the difference, just adding some more trees and a little bit of detail just to break up the barrier. Right, it feels much more 
like a real city here. Oh, I like it. I really do. There's our mole. Got our trains coming in and out. Our train line's all fixed. And our highway continues down. There we go. See the train line running around the back here. It takes a little while to get these trees down, but it does make all the difference. Okay. So we're at a 12,000 population. I'm quite happy with how the city looks, but I'm reluctant to add any more to it. I want to start building in another area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase these two squares over here. Now technically this is actually more space than we've got on the first area of the map. And I think on this side is where I really do plan to have a touristy section. Yeah, I'm just going to let this look after itself. So now we can start a bigger city on this side. What is going to be difficult is getting this highway and doing something with this section just here. Okay, so I've done a trumpet interchange and it's a bit wonky, but because I can't open that square, that's the best I can really do at the moment. It works. It serves a purpose. And uh, I can certainly change this section once I can buy that other square. And I'll make that a lot more straight. It's just the bridge. I don't like the way the bridge is curled there, but there's nothing I can do. And as long as it works, just for the time being. Now in regards to this highway, I think it should certainly come down the middle. And right, okay, let's just delete this here. And I want to shove a roundabout intersection just off here. So we're putting this raised roundabout in. And then I've got a way to exit this highway on either side. So um, I think I just need to add an extra section of highway in order to connect this. But I'm going to use this one. It's just a simple highway interchange but rather than having our highway run along the outside of it we're going to have it run in the middle with bridges and all sorts of stuff going over the top of it ah, there we go I like it okay let's just connect it back this way, you to there and you to here like so, and this road's not connected, or this off ramp's not connected, that's okay, I can fix that easy enough, just get an on ramp, yeah, like so. There we go. So the highway can continue on. We've got an exit to our left and right. Now, this here, perhaps I'll put a little avenue at the bottom here. I think my plan for this side along the beach is to Perhaps go for a more touristy, built-up area. I think we'll do some fun stuff on this side. Now we've got a little bit of money generating from our other town. But for now, I just want to put a little suburb in. Something basic. We're going to need people to work in our leisure and touristy industry. We don't want everybody coming in from over that city. Is that created? Traffic lights? Mm, it seems to flow in and all right. Okay, so I do want some sort of avenue here. I'm probably going to have the avenue continue over in a bridge. Um, let's just upgrade this roundabout. Yeah, I'm not too sure whether I want to make it that big. That's okay, it can change for now. It's just a place marker for now. So let's have an avenue coming out along here through this farmland. 
and then off of it, we want to make a little sort of suburb. And I don't know if I'm going to go in this direction. I'll put a road going out that way for now, but I think we'll just build on this half here. You can see I added another roundabout at the top so they can just spin round on that highway at the top. Okay, so I've just planned out a little grid for our suburb. Now I'm going to paint a district on it. Now, this little area here is going to look different because I'm going to put the self-sufficient buildings on here. I think it makes it look a little bit more wealthy. And I think we'll be doing a leisure and specialization over this side as well. Let's see what we can do. Perhaps we will uh, build one of the parks or a theme park or something. But the self-sufficient buildings just give us different sort of asset being built here in a different style of house. So I'm going to use that. And of course we've got the IT cluster as well. I have plans for one of those sections. We'll get through all of this stuff here. Okay. So I need to get some basic infrastructure in. We'll start by putting our water pipes down. As always, I kind of follow the roads. I always find that best. So we've got 12,500 people living in our city now. And Hopefully this small little village section on this side will bump us up to 14,000 and we'll hit that next milestone. And with it we can unlock another square. We could unlock one on the other side and then bring that highway up to join the other highway in the other square. But for now, we're just going to start on this side. Okay, so that's totally covered by water. We need to get some basic buildings down. So, power wise, let's bring our pylons. I like to bring them along the road for now. You can see we're going to have to think about getting some more electricity plants. I think I'll be using one of the other power plants soon. You have to get certain population milestones before you can get some more cleaner, efficient energy. Okay, so we'll just bring that in down here like so. Before we start colouring it in with residentials, let's stick our essential buildings down. So let's get a school. If we don't, they'll all be having to go across the river to go to school. So let's get an elementary school down. I don't know, somewhere quite central for everybody to get to. And I had to put a park in next to the school. Let's have something different. Japanese garden, let's have that. Dog plant. Oh, tropica, tropical garden. Let's see what that looks like. Not much of a playground, but this is more of a, a posher area, so. Oh. Okay. And we'll also want a secondary school here. So high school. In fact, actually, we've got some other options for a high school. The Institute of Creative Arts. I think we'll use that instead of the high school. It costs a little bit more than your average high school, but as this is more of a posher area. Um, just 
tempted to shove it up right next to the avenue here, in fact. Um, yeah, that'll be fine just here. Okay. Plug it into the power. So we've got our schools. And I think I'm just going to shove a car park next to it. It acts like a park in terms of bringing up the value of an area. Rather than putting the big football field in. Okay. So let's put a little bit of low density commercial in just along this road. And I guess we go for it and completely cover this here. We're probably going to end up with some weird sort of squares as this is the terrain. I didn't flatten the terrain, but I like this when it comes to residential and the smaller buildings here. I think it looks more natural to have it raised up in places. So I'm happy with that. So we'll just make them into fours. And that can be a three. And these can be the widest just along here. And I think these can be twos. Just have a little gap there. And get rid of that there. I have a little gap there because of the Chinese garden we've shoved in. Okay. Can have a couple of houses just here. For the most part I should be able to paint these. We'll just see what comes up on them roads. Okay. I'll paint this one as well. Also going to need some fire service and a police service over here as well. There we go, we've got people starting to move in. Okay, I'm liking it. Let's see what happens. Okay, just a little bit more residential in here. And our farms are starting to struggle so I can expand the little village up the top. Oh, here we go. Big city. And we just hit a population of 14,000. I want to do that before the end of today's episode. Hasn't unlocked much, but we do now get the crematorium, which saves having to plop big churches down. And they do get filled, the graveyard. So the crematorium makes things a little bit easier in terms of space. And just a couple of unskilled workers required here so I see no reason not to expand this little bit and the highways all definitely going to change at the moment that's just a temporary roundabout at the end of it there health wise see we've got plenty of health is at the top I think we're quite okay at the moment okay the steel industry, I've put the rotary kiln plant in. This turns ore into metal. I've put a couple of those down and we've also got a couple of medium sized ore plants. These gather a little bit more resources for us. And yeah, I'm liking our highway interchange there. That's all working fine. Everything's building up just nicely. And here we go. This is our new area, our new district. As you can see, all the houses are kind of slightly different. These are the energy efficient ones. And they all kind of look a little bit similar, but it does make a little bit of a different feel to the generic ones we have on the other side. So I'm liking it. That's brought us up to a population of 14,000. Did put a fire station down and a police station but yeah i think we've made good progress today we've managed to carry our highway on around the corner as you can 
see our city's getting bigger now so have a good think about filling up some more of these sections oh, looks like we've got an abandoned building I should fix that now with more unskilled workers I've just put a few more houses down at that end it should be fine water and sewage plants we're gonna to have to think about that very soon as well I'm just gonna turn the budget up for now because I think that's about as much as we've got time for today I think next time we can start thinking about expanding our city on the other side oh put another recycling plant down there but it hasn't got any water so let's just fix that quick there we go that's all plugged in so I'm fairly happy with how our highway has turned out and our steel works is all leveling up. Hopefully with them new mines, we're gonna be able to level up our steel works to a maximum level. We'll keep going with that. I'm really happy with how the highways turned out, but that's about all the time we've got for this episode of Complete City Skylines. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here, but until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.